Martin here with Steph Curry. Steph, we saw the emotion that you just expressed with your teammates. Just walk us through the final possessions of this game. I mean, it was kind of sloppy with the not knowing how many timeouts. Some, some unfortunate foul calls that didn't go our way. We had a couple of dagger shots that didn't go in, but we knew we needed to dig deep those last 10 seconds, make uh, somebody else other than Fox shoot it. Good contest. You live with those, those shots. Thankfully, it didn't go in. We protect home court, and now we move on. Draymond Green came off the bench in this one, but then started the first half. A massive effort on De'Aaron Fox. What did you see from Draymond in his return? Just being himself, like playing with fire, competitive spirit, talking on defense. I know, uh, you know, having watched game three, he learned a lot about where to be on offense and how to attack them. And I know he, he can play better offensively, you know, finishing around the rim, which for him, like, that's great news. He does everything else great. We know we all can play better on that end of the floor. So got to be able to let our defense travel to, to Sacramento, and he's going to be a huge part of that. Steph, as we're talking, I, I see you taking these big breaths. You played 43 minutes tonight. Steve Kerr said, oh. for real, <laughs> Steve Kerr said you needed to play all of the fourth quarter. How do you keep it up for the rest of the series? Uh, I mean, just the, the routine that I've stuck with. Um, you got to get yourself ready. Like, I'm not worried about that. It's, it's kind of the mental process of being able to, you know, recover uh, game to game. Like I said, I'm blessed to be, to be healthy, feeling strong, and relying on the energy of my teammates. So there's no worries at all. Well, as you said, Draymond has a history, and so does this team that was on full display. Good luck taking it on the road. Appreciate the time. Sure. Guys, back to you. Final thought.